By this time you have a manageable workspace. You've connected devices to it, selected owners and updated the license. Everything works with the default settings. The connected devices have downloaded a security profile from the workspace and use it for protection. What are the administrator's next steps? Monitor protection, react to threats, adjust settings to improve protection and make it comfortable for the users. A security profile cannot be improved considerably, but we recommend that you limit the user's freedom and schedule virus scanning. This will make protection more reliable. At the same time, a security profile is very easy to spoil. We will also tell you about the settings that are strongly recommended to remain intact. The default profile does not allow the users to change protection settings. However, it does not prohibit exiting Kaspersky endpoint security for Windows. Moreover, if a user has administrative permissions, he or she can even uninstall Kaspersky endpoint security. To prevent the users from doing this, configure password protection in the security profile. All security profiles are located in the security management section. There is the default profile in the workspace from the very beginning. It cannot be deleted and applies to all devices that do not have dedicated profiles. A single profile may be enough for a small company of 10 to 20 devices. If a single profile is not enough for your company, just create an additional one. Press Create Security Profile link, specify security profile name and press Create button. In Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud, a single profile enforces protection settings on all types of devices, Windows, Mac, Android and iOS. For each operating system, the settings are organized into several sections. The Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows password is configured in the interface settings, which are located in the Advanced section. Password protection is disabled by default. Enable it, add a username and a password, and then save the changes. Select the actions to be password protected. If in doubt, select all of them. The administrator can allow the users to take some of these actions without a password, for example, stop a scan task if it interferes with the user's work. To assign security profile to the user's press corresponding link, select user whom the profile to be applied, and press OK button. Scanning of removable drives does not improve computer protection, but helps prevent the spread of malware. If the user starts malware from a removable drive or copies it to the hard disk, file antivirus will intercept the operation and delete the malware. However, if malware is simply stored on a removable drive and the user does not try to do anything about it, file antivirus will not notice it and it will remain intact. If the user gives the drive to customers or partners, they may accidentally infect their computers. As a result, the company's reputation will be compromised, although your computers will not be infected. That is why we recommend that you enable automatic scan of removable drives on connection. Scanning of removable drives is disabled by default. Scan of the removable drives is configured in the protection and self-defense settings, which are located in the advanced section. You can enable full or quick scanning. Full scanning will scan all files, including archives. This way, all malware will be deleted for sure, but the user will have to wait a bit longer. Quick scan checks only infectable files and does not look inside archives. Contemporary removable drives can have a very high capacity, up to hundreds of gigabytes. Full scan of such a drive, especially via a comparatively slow USB 2.0 interface, may take long. To avoid this, you can limit the maximum size of drives to be scanned. Save changes every time you edit a security profile. When you are switching to another section of the profile, the workspace will prompt you whether to save or discard the changes. File Threat Protection Behavior detection and other protection components intercept all operations on the computer and block any infection attempts. However, to ensure optimal performance for other applications, they skip files that are not immediately dangerous for the computer, for example, archives. If a malicious file is simply stored in a folder and has never been started, it will also remain unnoticed. Real-time protection reacts only to active actions and does not scan for passive threats. To decrease the risk, regularly scan computers for viruses. Virus scanning not only checks all files including archives, but also scans the memory and looks for so-called rootkits. We recommend that you schedule virus scanning to run once a week or every two weeks. 
Scheduled scanning checks the whole computer entirely, including the memory and boot sectors, which helps to detect rootkits. Scheduled scanning starts on the specified day and time and slows down the computer to some extent. Select the time when employees do not work, or when users do not perform any resource-consuming operations. Sometimes it is hard to select a comfortable time for scheduled virus scanning. In this case, you can use so-called idle scanning. Idle scanning starts when the user locks the session. Once the user is back, scanning pauses and does not hamper the user's work. Scanning resumes at every opportunity. If there is no convenient time for active virus scanning, enable idle scanning in virus scan settings, and do not enable it in the security profile to prevent two tasks from struggling for resources. Idle scan settings are located in the advanced section of a security profile, in the performance area. Simply enable idle scanning and save the changes. Scheduled scanning is configured in the general workspace settings, not in a profile. This means that the start time is configured for all corporate computers at once. The manually virus scan schedule is used by default. This means that the local user can start scanning on the computer if the administrator allows users to manage tasks. By default, however, the users may not manage tasks, and in reality the manually schedule means that scanning will never start. Switch virus scanning to by schedule, and select a time when it will not hamper the user's work. There is no schedule that could satisfy everyone, but there are a few popular choices that have their pros and cons. On Fridays at 7 p.m. By default. On Friday nights, usually nobody works, and virus scanning will not disturb employees. However, many users turn off their computers before going home, and then scanning will not be able to start. Instruct the users not to turn off their computers on Fridays. In addition to the schedule, you can select the security level. Use the recommended level. The low level skips many files, and makes virus scanning less useful. The update task downloads information about threats to the computer within a database that contains malware signatures. It is extremely important that the computer has the latest databases. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud will automatically download updates every hour. However, as long as a computer is connected to the Internet, Kaspersky Security Network will protect it against threats even if the signature database is old on the computer.